another episode of Rissy's Room. And we are in the Spring Reading Series in partnership with the Audubon Naturalist Society. And today we are going to read this beautiful book called Ruby's Birds. And you may be able to hear some of the birds in the background of where I'm sitting right now. This book was written by Maya Thompson and illustrated by Claudia Davila. All right. Are we ready to learn about Ruby's birds? I know I am. Ruby's birds. School's out. Mom and dad are at work. My brother Malik is at soccer practice. Grandma's at her spot near the window. Alex keeps her company. Things are too quiet around here. I know what to do. I play the piano, the pieces my parents say is very grown up. I practice my dance routine, the one Malik calls stomping. I talk with Alex in the secret language grandma taught us. Waginon, waginon. I sing at the top of my lungs, the song I made up myself. I love that song. My neighbor, Eva, from downstairs, hears everything. She calls up from her window. Ruby, want to go to the park? Yes, 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 yes. I sing. Such a good singer. We pass my favorite bakery. We pass Cece's apartment. We walk right past my regular park the one with the twisty slide and the sprinklers. I guess Eva is going to a different park. I skip to keep up. I follow her all the way to Central Park where my parents sometimes take us on Sundays when we're all dressed up. Eva is going to the woods. I've never been that way. We sing made up songs about joggers and strollers and fancy dogs. Suddenly, Eva stops. She looks up. She is listening. I quiet down and I listen too. What's wrong, I wonder? I hear a police car, a plane, some barking. I tug on Eva's sleeve but she's not paying attention. She holds her binoculars up to her eyes like this. Can you bring your binoculars up to your eyes? What do you see? Oh, she is frozen like a statue. And then she smiles, a huge smile. I guess everything's okay. So I start singing again. Ruby, Eva sighs, you scared him away. Who did I scare away, I ask. Eva flops down on a bench. I sit too. It's a bird I've only ever seen back home in Costa Rica, she says. He's just stopping through on his way north because this is the best patch of woods for miles around. He's quite a singer, just like you. If you stay quiet, we may be able to find him again. He's a golden winged warbler. I nod. I don't say a word or sing a word either. It sounds like something from a fairy tale. We move carefully. We're serious. We pay attention. We watch for tiny movements in the leaves. We try and try. No luck today, says Eva, but now you know what to do. I sang myself to sleep as usual. On Sunday morning, I beg for a walk to Central Park. Malik's not interested, but it's family time, so he has to come anyway. We pass the bodega, we pass the theater, I sing my song, my family listens along. At the park, I lead them straight to the woods. I'm silent. 
I'm serious. I'm paying attention. I hear a rustle in the leaves. Shh, I say. Just like Eva, I'm frozen like a statue. A tiny bird pops out of the leaves. It looks one way, then the other, then right at me. I can't help it. I get that huge smile, just like Eva's. Look, I yell. Ah, yes, says Grandma. I saw a warbler. I sing as he flies away. How amazing. Let's all be quiet for a second. Can you hear birds where you are? I can hear birds where I am. I've always wanted to know the name of all the birds in my area. Slowly I'm learning them, but I wonder if you may be interested in finding out the names of the birds in your area too. Hmm. I wonder what all their names are and I wonder what all their songs are. I wonder if their songs are just as loud as Ruby's. All right, so now we have an activity with Gina. Are you ready to find out what that activity is? Let's find out. Here's the book. <laughs> Thank you, Reese. Ruby's birds. This is the book we have today and I was just out here looking for birds. Isn't this great? In this book, we met Ruby's friend, Eva. She knew a lot about birds. She was a birder. Do you know what being a birder means? A birder is a person that loves birds and they know a lot about them. Birders go outside very frequently to see what birds are around at different times of the year. Some birders can even recognize a bird just by listening to their song. Isn't that amazing? When Ruby and Eva went out for a walk, they saw a bird from Costa Rica, but they were not in Costa Rica. They were in New York in Central Park. What was that bird doing all the way up in New York? The beautiful bird they found was a golden winged warbler. Warblers, like many other birds, are migratory, which means that they don't live in the same part of the world through the whole year. They go south during the winter, and then in the spring and summer, they come back up north. Have you ever seen any of the birds that were in the book? This book has a lot of birds in it, and you can even find a list of all of them right here. I bet you've seen a crow before. Those are big black birds that make this sound. And if you haven't seen any of those birds, it's okay. Any day, it's a good day to go out and see what birds live in your neighborhood. And that's what our activity is going to be today. We're going to go out and you can take your family or your friends along and see what birds are around you. I am ready to go outside now, but it's a bit rainy, so I have to put a cap on and my raincoat. And I can already hear some birds. It's also a good idea to take a notepad and a pen or a pencil so you can write down your observations. How many birds did you see that day? What were those birds doing? Were they eating? Were they making a nest? What were they eating if they were doing that? Were they eating fruits or seeds or insects? All that information is very important and it can change depending on the time of the year that you are observing those birds. So go out and have some fun. And it's better if you can go out with a friend or a family member. It's always great to have some company when you go out birding. See you next time.